Hi, uh, welcome to today's solo playing tip. Now, this is, I call this one um, give them credit, but it's something that really, really annoys me in group games. When the, the fact that the character lives in the world and experiences the world, and for them, things are life and death. But for me and my friends, I think it's just a game. And in a solo game, this happens as well. You know, what you know and how you feel about it and how your character, what they know, how what they feel about things can be completely different. And the way this can end up filtering down into game mechanics is giving your character, say, you know, I don't know what the rules for your game would be, whether it's perception checks, awareness checks, or you know, detect secret doors, or you know, whatever the mechanic is, that your character is more likely to be on edge, um, on heightened alert, you know, on full adrenaline, and be able to detect these small dangers when you can't, you know, when you may be waiting on a die roll or um, you know, the you read you know some preamble text and it says, "Oh, it looks like this." Your character is likely to be far more um, you know alert than you may be. So give them credit, and it will sometimes give you an advantage in your scenes. It may make things slightly more survivable. You know, it's not cheating to give yourself a, an extra uh, you know a wisdom save to see whether you can smell those goblins, you know, even though it's not mentioned in the text. Okay, so that's it. You give your character credit, and you know, they survived so long. You know, they, there's a reason why they survived. Okay, thank you for watching.